Happy has a mean right hand and he's not afraid to use it. Looking forward to seeing him fight. Coming up in just a moment, our second of four scheduled bouts here tonight from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. And entering the ring right now, one of the most impressive athletes we have seen in recent memory. That's Kamar, the young avatar Lindsay, coached on by Greg Arden and a product of Arden Sweet Giant, Sweet Science Gym. Kamar originally from Jamaica, but he was raised in Brooklyn. He had a great beginning to his Friday Night Fights career, beat D'Amico Boyd with a first round TKO, a knee to the liver back on May the 11th of last year. And then he beat Warwick Folk by unanimous decision back in February. So two of Lindsay's 12 wins have come on Friday Night Fights. Overall, he's 12 and one with three KOs, 28 years of age. And he'll try to improve on that mark against that man, the aforementioned Chris Tapia, also a seasoned fighter in his own right out of Weapons 9 Muay Thai in Middlesex, New Jersey. His trainer is Chris Tran, and Chris's record 16 and 10 with one draw but nine knockouts. And as we mentioned, a lot of power in those gloves of Chris Tapia, and it'll be five rounds of full rules Muay Thai. For the introductions, let's go to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for five rounds of action out of the 143-pound weight division. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 144. Representing Weapons 9 with a record of 16, 10, and 1. Nine of those by way of knockout. From New Jersey, Chris Tapia. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the red trim and weighing in at 141. Representing Arden Sweet Science with a 12 and one record, three by way of knockout from New York, Kamar, the young aviator, Lindsay. Tapia and Kamara Lindsay. Two, two, fight a bandit wins at all times. Defend stuff at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. Set to do battle here on Friday Night Fights as Kevin Mohal provides the final instructions here. go first of a scheduled five rounds at 143 pounds Chris Tapia slip of the canvas there the black trunks oh, two southpaws going at it that should be an interesting fight Kamar Lindsay in the black with red trim and the blue gloves vicious leg kicks oh, back and forth here very and heavy going. leg kick by Tapia both these guys have knockout power and it's on display in the first 30 seconds of this fight Trying to cut down that tall tree of Kamar with those low kicks. Kamar is five foot eleven. Chris Tappy about five eight and a half, five nine. Straight right gets in for Kamar Lindsay. So they both got the same game plan: box and low kicks. And you can see a lot of respect between these two fighters with the way they're approaching each other here. A lot, not a lot of abandon between these two guys. Very calculated moves here so far. Tries Looping to, left hand. Does a chop over the top of it. Tapia's lead hand. Hook to the body from Tapia. Measuring him up with that jab nicely. Chess match early on here between Chris Tapia and Kamara Lindsay. Outside leg kick for hey. Tapia, and Lindsay responds in kind. And he loads up on the left hand as well. Yeah, lands that good solid left hand coming in. Nice strong knees on the inside, too. Kamara Lindsay, superior athlete at 143 pounds. Let's see who can steal it away to press these judges here at the end of the round. 
Final seconds here of this first round. Tapia backed up just a bit and maybe saved by the bell as Lindsay was about to load up with the left hand there as round one came to a close. That good, good, good use of the boxing in the first round. Like I said, the good heavy low kicks by both fighters. Looks like Tapia's got the heavier of hands. And a little replay action here. Munji just barely misses with that left hand. Ties him up in the clinch on the inside. Good, smart move. Kind of landed with his foot there on that low kick. Yeah, Kamar, Kamar Lindsay a little bit more of a high flyer. We've seen him, as we mentioned, a little bit earlier in fights with his knees to the midsection in the very early going. Chris Tapia kind of tends to rely on those hands. Yeah, I can see that just the, the body taps are built for it. Lindsay's that long, lean, got those pointy knees, and Tapia's got that thick chest and back, built like a puncher. Chris Tapia and Kamar Lindsay back to action here in round two. You're watching Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Kamar Lindsay in the tr black trunks with red trim and blue gloves. In there against Chris Tapia wearing the black trunks with the red I think lettering. he's starting to hurt the leg of Tapia. And you Tap can see the way he's walking around. He's kind of gingerly stepping on that lead leg. Tapia staggered here. Kamar Lindsay's landed a couple of big left hands, but now Chris regains his bearings for the moment and comes forward. Start getting hit in the leg, your leg starts hurting, you forget about everything else, and else next thing you know, a punch is coming. Nice, beautiful low kick. And that hurt yeah, Tapia He's not gonna bit. take too many more of those. You see a little bit of hitch in the giddy up now for Tapia. Not moving as smoothly as he did moments ago. Yeah, once you start, once that leg gets in there, that's all you're worried about. And that creates openings. And Lindsay's being very patient now. He knows he has them. He's worried, yeah, he's worried so much about getting, getting kicked in the leg again, he's forgetting about everything else. That's when head kicks open up, punches down the middle. And Lindsay has the speed to capitalize on those openings. Yeah, he can't even put weight on that front leg. Kamar Lindsay surprisingly kind of... I think he's kind of letting him back in the fight a little bit. Right. You know, he's kind of like, ah, come to me, come to me. And he, I think he almost wants Tapia to throw that kick so he can answer back with his own. It's harder to block when, you, when you're throwing that counter low kick. If you just throw it out of nowhere, you know, eight times out of ten, it's going to get blocked. Oh, nice. Bring that kick upstairs. Let's get this over with. A short left hook followed by an inside leg kick and an outside leg kick from Lindsay. But Tapia continues to fight. Oh, Tapia still dangerous. Forward. Lands that big left hand. Lindsay's legs get a little wobbly there. Again. Eats it again. Nice low kick. Good finish. Oh, monster exchange there at the end of round two. Looked like Lindsay was drawing in Tapia to do damage, and it was Chris turning the tables right at the end in the last 15 seconds. Yeah, I think he was playing, uh, you know, trying to draw him in a little bit too much, and he got caught with that left hand over the top. All well, styles make fights as they stand. They definitely Jason do. Stroud, they right? definitely do. This is a good fight. Really exciting moments here, and we're only through oh. two rounds here. We're scheduled for five at See, There it was, he was worried about that leg, and he eats that left hand down the middle. Lindsay was a little bit long on that left hand. There he got the short left hook in. He eats it on the side of the head, walks right through it. Yeah, there we go. See, you need to answer back, it's harder to block. I love playing that game. Someone kicks me, and I try to kick that leg back faster than they can get their leg back so it's, I know they're not gonna block it. And then once I see it hurt, it's like a shark in the water, just gotta go for it. Round three, underway. Tapia's legs seem to be back under him. I think that's a smart choice for Lindsay to kinda crowd him, get a little bit closer to him and take away that low kick. Or at least you could time that low kick with a cross over the top. Good pressure by Lindsay, or good pressure by Tapia. Outside leg kick from Chris Tapia, weapons nine product. Middlesex, New Jersey. See, every time he steps back, he eats that low kick. I'd stay right inside the pocket. Lindsay now loading up in an owl. Oh. That right leg giving, giving Tapia problems. Chris is up against the ropes. He's in trouble. Big shots, big shots in the exchange. Tapia's leg is hurting. Kamar Lindsay again methodical on the attack, picking he's his shots. He's trying to do anything he can to hide it. Oh, eats another punch. He's worried so much about that leg, he's forgetting about everything else. 
Oh, he's got heart. Tapia is basically on one leg right now. And he's using it to kick. You but see come Tapia on. drop that left hand. Good choice. And a standing Good call eight. by the ref. A standing aid from Kevin Mulhall here. Well, breaking the action there. Might have been a, done him a little bit of a favor there. Can Tapia recover? Halfway through this third round. Good oh. knees up the middle. Nice elbow up the middle. Chris Tapia, all heart. Sure is. Clearly you know, that injured. That leg's got to be killing him. Clearly injured, but he continues to fight on against the dangerous Kamar, the young avatar Lindsay. Straight left for Kamar. I think the ref might jump in here any minute. Tapia hobbled here. Continues to eat shots over the top. Can't take a break, though. Lindsay's got to keep those hands up. Tapia's still dangerous. Big right hook from Tapia. Reaching down deep. Lindsay's winding up a little bit, but that's still landing. Straight left gets in for Kamar. A knee to the midsection. Oh, it's elbow up the middle, right in the chin. Tapia caught him with the elbow at the end of the third round. Oh, boy. Wow. Big time action here on Friday Night Fights. We expect nothing less as we come to you live from New York City. And here is where it looked like Tapia might be in a major, 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 Bring major trouble. But he was able to recover. And look, you can see he's literally on one leg eating shots. But down the stretch of that third round, he got in a stiff elbow. He got in a big right hook. Even as Kamar Lindsay continues to do damage. Uh, if I was Kamar Lindsay, I'd start faking that low kick. You know, I kind of give him a little bit of a look like I'm going to throw it, going to throw it, so he's worried about it. And that'll open up the punches and the, maybe even a head kick. Or you get him to kind of block, and then when that leg lands, then you chop that thing down. Well, let's see if Chris Tapia has a chance to continue this fight. One of our ringside physicians, Jose, Dr. Jose Cabalasa, checking him out. And Chris will be allowed to go in round four. Here we go. Kamar Lindsay and Chris Tapia continue an outstanding fight. Snuck one up the middle. And a low blow lands for Kamar Lindsay. Kevin Mulhall says fight on. Chris Tapia shaking it off. Take a look at Lindsay's foot from all those low kicks. It's all swollen up. Look at the size of the. Oh, another one. Beautiful low kick. I don't know if Chris is going to be able to go here. He's on the ground. Take a look at that foot. He's in big trouble here. I don't think Kevin Mulhall's going to let this go. He can barely walk, and that's it. Kevin Mulhall waves it off. Kamar, the young avatar, Lindsay, has done it again. Another knockout victory on Friday Night Fights for the man from Arden Sweet Science, Jim. Good he, performance. He, he takes out Chris Tapia in the fourth round, battering the leg, the right leg, of Chris Tapia and another monster victory for the superb athlete from Brooklyn, New York by way of Jamaica. So the low blow opens things up in the fourth round, probably took some much needed wind out of Chris Tapia's sails. And then the seconds later, it was Lindsay going right back to work. He saw the injury. He saw the bat, he saw the, the, the swollen right leg of Chris Tapia and he went right to work. Uh, if you take it, I'm taking a look in the corner over there. Kamar Lindsay's feet are a mess. Oh, wow, yes. You see a huge knot on the left foot of Kamar Lindsay. And had Chris Tapia's leg not been so badly bruised, perhaps Kamar Lindsay's foot would have been too damaged to continue. He might he might have broken a foot in there, Jason Strout. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't look good. <laughs> For the official announcement of our winner, Kamar Lindsay, we'll send it up to Connor Hall after another spectacular performance. Well, another fantastic performance for Kamar Lindsay. And Chris Tapia, give Chris Tapia all the credit in the world, Jason. He was on one leg from the second yeah, round there was, on. There was no quitting that kid. Unbelievable performance from both of and these men. He was men. still dangerous. He was still whipping that left hand and coming back with that right hook. 
Just superb heart from both of these men, but it's Kamar Lindsay accompanied by Billy Bello and his trainer, trainer Greg Arden with another knockout win. He's now three and one, uh, three and zero oh on Friday night fights and 13 and one for his career. On the rise is Kamar, the young avatar Lindsay. This is Friday night fights. Still two fights to come here from the Broad Street Ballroom. You're watching us live on the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. Still to come, it's Omar versus Omar. Omar Estevez, the seat time gym product, makes his long awaited return to the Friday Night Fights ring. Had his first fight in more than four years, just two weeks ago did Omar Estevez, and now he's right back at it where he belongs on Friday Night Fights. He's set to do battle with a newcomer to the promotion in Omar Lee out of Jacksonville Muay Thai. Omar Estevez with an impressive mark of 23 and eight. Omar Lee is 14 and three. Bit of an age difference between the two fighters. Omar Lee is 25 years of age. Omar Estevez is 31, will, will, will turn 32 in 